Hi coffee fans, Chad Elliott from The Coffee Artisan, back to review the ground coffee tray or drawer, whichever you like to call it, of the new Bun My Cafe MCU. So the tray that we're going to focus on is the ground coffee tray. As you can see, you've got a lid with a wire mesh screen over the top of the tray. And then inside, you've got a removable metal filter basket. And well, it's really not a basket, but it's a removable filter that will allow you to put the coffee straight in to the grounds bin. And it's washable and removable. It makes cleanup a little bit easier for you. No paper filters to worry about, although if you do prefer a filtered coffee, um, some people don't like their coffee through a metal filter because more of the coffee oils can get into the cup. I think that's actually one of the things that's nice and that's great about this tray is the fact that it is much more like a French press style of coffee in the cup because you do get those essential oils through the metal filter. But if that's not your preference, you can either cut a filter or drop an AeroPress filter into here. We'll actually take a look at what that looks like here in a minute. Um, but it's really, really simple to use. I'll put the cup up on the tray here. Um, I've got a bag of Marley coffee. This is their Buffalo Soldier, uh, which is a dark roast. I went ahead and got the, uh, the pre-ground coffee here. You can use any coffee you like, and that's what's great. You roast your own coffee at home and want to do a cup at a time, this is a great way to do that. Maybe you're an AeroPress fan or you're a French press fan, but you want to do something a little bit quicker in the morning uh, when you don't have as much time. You just take that coffee, pour it in. Uh, you can measure if you like. This will hold up to 20 grams of coffee. So if you want to use a scale, measure out an exact amount and have your coffee down to a science. I want 18 grams of coffee. I want eight ounces of water. However you like to do it, that's what's great about this unit. It's totally up to you. It's really flexible. You're just going to drop the lid. You're going to slide it into the unit. Snaps right into place. Again, spin the lid. You can adjust anywhere from 4 to 14 ounces of water based on how much you pour in. You have a stair-stepped measure in the top. I'm going to go ahead and pour in here up to about the 8 ounce mark for this particular cup of coffee. Once you have it where you like, spin the lid. Choose between your pulse brew or regular brew. Again, my recommendation is always use the pulse brew feature. We're going to go ahead and hit start here and you'll see what the brew process looks like. Very similar to the pod or K-cup feature, you're going to get that pre-wet cycle that's going to wet the coffee, give you a, an initial saturation of the grounds, and then as the coffee starts to flow, you'll see you're getting a nice, deep, rich color. This is not in any way a watery cup of coffee. Um, the Pulse Brew, again, gives you that longer water to coffee contact time. You like a weaker cup, you don't want to pulse, that's your call. Um, when you use the pulse brew feature, uh, it will reduce the water temp slightly as it gets to your cup just because you know the longer brew process and that longer time, your final end result in the cup is going to be a little bit less. No matter what you choose, whether it's pulse brew or not, you're going to get 200 degree brew temps at the spray head. That's something Keurig just can't match. That 200 degrees is the optimal brew temp. You'll see just at the end here, we have the air pump come on. That's going to force air through the coffee grounds. You'll see that actually is giving us a little bit of foam on the top of the coffee. I won't go so far as to call this a crema in any way like you'll get on an espresso, but I think you can see that the pressure and the pulse brew really, really give you a nice cup of coffee. So we'll hold this up in the light a little more. You can see the deep dark color. This is not a light amber, uh, you know, reddish tint that you can see straight through. You've got a really, really good full bodied cup of coffee. Again, use your favorite bagged coffee, whole bean, grind your own, buy ground from the store if that's your thing, home roast, do whatever you like. This gives you that flexibility to have that ground coffee 
experience, fresh ground, if that's your thing, it's a beautiful cup of coffee. And then the next day, if you're in a big hurry and want to jump to a pod real quick or have pods for more variety with your guests, you've got that ability. K-cup, pod, ground coffee, uh, this machine can do it all and actually do it all pretty well. So enjoy. I'm Chad and cheers.